Yeah, nice visual style too. I like how it's not trying to be photo real. Um, there's a stylization of the character. Faces specifically. Wow. Continuing our League of Legends series with all that will ever be Belveth Cinematic. This video was chosen by our Dragoon tier member, Nightwalker. If you want to choose a video for me to react to, click the join button, become a Dragoon. League of Legends lore masters, join me. Now, this is a uh, KDA member, correct? Really cool sort of uh, concept for this character. She's and her powers. She's not human, unless I'm incorrect. You guys can help me. Really nice color work here, man. This just like magenta. Striking, striking colors with the purple background. It's beautiful. Beautiful harmony. Ooh. Yeah, beautiful color harmony. And like, it's it's creepy too. Taking the, the butterfly and taking the fly. Like, what is this entity? There's a lot happening. Wow. Incredibly done. Already. What are you? I am everything the void has consumed. Oh. And just as I devoured this city. Amazing voice work. Devour your world. Yeah, nice visual style too. I like how it's not trying to be photo real. Um there's a stylization of the character. Faces specifically. Wow! So good. They set it up earlier when it grabbed the butterfly, and now we're seeing, oh no, what happens if it grabs you? I am not this void spawn. Oh, I am oh, so, so cool. Much more. Wow, so terrifying. I am the end of the world. Whoa. And the beginning of mine. What? That's actually terrifying. Is that it? There is no way they ended it there. There is no way they ended it there. Wait, what? What is this? I refuse to believe it's over. I refuse to believe it's over. What? Oh my god. That is that is wild. It, it's such a cool, interesting thing that's asking so many questions. And then it's just like, anyways, play the game. Oh man, this could have been a really, really good cinematic too, uh, you know, as its own piece if they kept going with it, but it's still really good. Um, so many cool questions asked. I would say the strongest bit is this. Visually, it's so good. Here we're establishing this like demon wall and that you should not touch it. Don't touch it with a 10 foot pole, man. What in the world? And it's just bursting forth with this kind of like hive of all these creatures really really cool concept um which i love but again it's just visually striking man and then we have another beautiful beautiful color harmony with these oranges against the purple now oh, it's so good right purple and magenta oh. silhouette work again what's really cool is these are scary creatures so how does this character intro kind of how to feed itself in a really clever way this character is walking towards all the crazy creatures as and is unconcerned so it's like, oh, is this the one that controls it? Oh no. Or is at least unafraid? So really good character intro. Cool, cool um, accent for the character too. Um, makes him sound almost otherworldly. And man, just gets one shot. That's how powerful this person is. And then again, they've established, and, and I think rather impressively, in just a minute of footage so far, about this wall. Well, she goes near it, and... How creepy is that, man? It's just such a cool concept. Um, and it's a very visceral concept. I always talk about this. I really like scenes where you can feel it. So I think this was really, really well shot. She's on her way. She's going to fight. And then look what happens. No. As she starts to move across the screen, she gets trailed by these. She almost makes it across the frame. It's really good use of the frame in this to establish momentum. Almost gets out of the frame, gets grabbed, gets pulled. And then the next shot just shows this kind of impact almost. Oh, yeah. She gets lurched back. It's like, oh, you can feel it. And it's visceral in the sense that, like, you know what it feels like to get 
grabbed by a hand, I'm assuming. Um, so you can just feel that. It's like, oh, imagine like a bunch of people just holding you back and pulling your head. And so it's like, whoa, really not a nice place to be, especially when they're like demon freaky stuff. So it's visceral. Now, what I really like is we get this sort of reveal of this character is not human. I am not Again, j just such a visceral feeling. Like, to have all the hands pull it out. It's just like the visual of that, man. Look at that. Opening it up, you can see this sort of like uh, sticky substance. Almost like a web. Just being broken and everything. Like, wow. And then it's interesting because the, the villain here does the same thing. Opens up her face and it's like, oh no. And it's a cool concept. Um, she looks like one of those toys we used to make as kids. That's like paper. You know what I'm talking about? Where it'd be like, what do you choose? And you do this weird thing with paper. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but yeah. <laughs> this is a really cool use of the eye to uh, the reflection of the character. The imagination is often worse than what you show on screen. So this was a good use for kind of horror elements. I am the Ugh. end of the world and the beginning of mine. So cool, man. And like, what even is it? it looks like a dragon or something. It's a, it's a really cool concept. I, I still can't believe it ends. <laughs> it ends so abruptly. Um, and yeah, it's very well done. Uh, it's very well done. I, I'm, I'm surprised that I missed that one, but it seems like it's kind of, um, like, what is the cinematic? Does anyone know? Do any league fans know? Is it just kind of, a standalone showcase for this character? Like, what is it a part of, you know? Um, Cause typically with the cinematics, like it would have, you know, a big climax part where maybe she fights back, she defeats the person and then it's over. Like maybe a minute, a minute or two longer. So I'm really curious what this is. Um, the fortune teller or chatterbox. That's probably what I'm talking about. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It's like a magic, it's pretty much a magic eight ball, you know, that you make. And then some of the answers would be like, you stink. It was like, man, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Core member. You guys know what I'm talking about. I just don't know what to call it. Like the paper thing. You'd like go back and forth. I don't know. Can we get one that's like positivity instead of like you stink? Anyways, that was really great. Uh, shout out to Nightwalker for choosing that one. And uh, I think it's really well done. Again, just the, just even the opening, like the color use is so strong, man. And there's something to be said for analogous colors to the point where Pretty much the entire image is just purple. It's really, really striking. So then when you do get even an analogous color to that, it still is really striking. Isn't that wild? And then of course, when you get an orange or something, it's just this really, really mind blowing, but it's cool. It feels like a dream. I love it. She's wandering this like dream world and then is following this thing. You know, it's like, where's this going to lead? It feels like you're lost in a dream. And then all of a sudden, you wake up or it becomes a nightmare here. It's like, oh, cool. Like cute little hands. Oh, no. Why are they breaking it apart? Why are they killing the butterfly? Ah, oh. and it's just, oh, it's just gross. Yeah, really, really well done. I'm impressed with the work here. And uh, I mean, yeah, League of Legends, League of Legends never disappoints. All the KDA stuff I mean, is incredible. Um, and I've covered much of it on my channel and very much enjoyed it. So shout out to Nightwalker. Love this one. Like I said, guys, if you're enjoying our time, hop in our Discord. Um, if you're enjoying your time here and also subscribe on the channel here on YouTube uh, and become a Dragoon if you want to choose a video. Let's move on to the list. Oh my goodness. Up next, we have Akaria. <laughs> 